Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you for joining me this morning. Um, I hope you're well. I'm not doing too bad, I'm not brilliant, um, but I'm okay. I, uh, I'm coming on today to uh, try and finish up, or well, very nearly finish up, what's left of my January kits um, from the, the uh, winter... <laughs> I forgot this last time, didn't I? It's gone again. It's not Winter Whispers. It's not Winter Tail. Winter Shadow. Yay, Winter Shadow um, kit from Nanine at um, Collage Type. Um, if you've been with me and you're returning, thank you. You guys will know that I've done a planner and a journal with this um, and I'm now using up um, the bits, the pieces, or a lot of them that are left. There'll still be one or two pieces, but nothing much. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today. So I'll just share with you the bits that are left because I want to, I've still got the, the bits and pieces from the uh, Daisy, Grungy Daisy kit. And um, I think there's a few pieces left from the Great and Sepia kit that need to go in the journals. So um, I thought let's get January done and finished. And then I don't know why I'm right up there. And then we can uh, move on uh, to some of those. Okay, so I've, I have been spending uh, a lot of time tidying up my uh, craft room. Um, yeah, and I have I have squared up a lot. So yeah, that's another reason for getting through some of these things. So um, what have I got left? You can see it's not too much. Not It's not all that kit that's here. Um, oops, a daisy. So first of all, there's the envelope with the, the little fussy cut page that I cut out. Um, perhaps I ought to let you see some of them, didn't I? Yeah, well obviously I'm not going to use all those in the journal and the planner, but you know, I am going to be using them going forward. On other blue projects, what have I got here? Um, you know, a couple of tags that won't back in and a couple of pockets, they will go in my journal. Um, so I'm going to pop those up there. Um, if we get a chance, I'll back them and pop them in. If not, I'll do it at the end of at the end of this session when you've gone. Okay, so we've got those fussy cuts. I've got those four postcards. Again, just need backing and then, uh, yeah, they can probably go in the journal or the planner. I have got um, a small piece of paper. Looks like I cut it to mat, mat on into the planner and didn't use it. So it's a piece of, piece of the, uh, the digital paper. I've got the frames. One, two, three. I've got four frames and I've got some just spotted those. Oh no, these are not. Yeah, these are frames, but they um, they're like pocket frames. So you slot things into them. Let me just. I'm sure you can work it out, but <laughs> I'll just fold one over to remind me as well. Um, so yeah, I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I'm okay. I'm not really well. I'm just suffering with uh, pain in my in my knee. It's really bad today. I um well yesterday as well and through the night i'm waiting for a knee operation well i'm not waiting for those of you that are new to me it uh, it's happening on the 2nd of february so soon uh, but yeah i'm struggling with the, the pain a little bit today yeah so they might go in now these are what nanine calls um polaroid pictures so you know from the old polaroid camera um size i'm guessing and they'll be nice behind um, acetate and things like that but um yeah, they might end up on something in there. So yeah, there's another one of those. So two frame pockets. So they're actually pockets as well, aren't they? Shall I, uh, shall I cut that down while I'm, while I'm here? So yeah, I have got a ice pack on my knee. <laughs> I have got a hot water bottle on my back because the ice pack is making me cold. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm full of paracetamol. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I'm hoping the crafting, can't see that very well, it's a bit there, I think so. Yeah, I'm hoping the crafting's going to work its magic on me and uh, by the end of this, I don't know, half an hour, three quarters of an hour, I feel a lot better. Maybe take my mind off it and chat into you guys. Um, yeah, but if not, if I don't feel very much better, uh, this afternoon we'll be sitting in front of the fire, I think, with my legs up and uh, yeah, maybe sewing some some clusters or something okay so this is this is not I believe from that kit I think this is from faded it is a Nanine kit 
yeah I have got some uh, is it faded floral or faded denim I think it's a faded floral I've got a few bits of that as well that I've brought in so so what have I got tucked in here so just some embellishments and uh, little bits of ephemera the shopping lists oh yeah so these were um journal cards that I've sort of folded over to make journal spots so these are to go in either the journal or the planner maybe I should take those out and put them with those because they do need to go in um, these are just bits of ephemera oh and embellishments yeah I think that's what these all are so little tickets um, oops thought that was an opening one yeah I suppose they could be very tiny journal cards there's another one of those little booklets yeah that's from the faded denim or florals whichever one it is but they go they mix in fine don't they yeah so these are all just little yeah little itty bits um and it's with these in mind perhaps not that because that can go in the journal as well it's with these in mind that i'm going to create a project today but let me just finish showing you what i've got so you've seen that page of those two more pages of fussy cut so yeah i could sit and cut those out this afternoon couldn't i once i've got somewhere to put them um yeah another one of the uh, polaroid pictures but larger and these mini journal cards or embellishments okay so they could all be cut up small as well so that's all i've got i think left of that kit that is the other kit that i'm talking about um put them all on there again and what also did i have left three file folders yeah so i, I obviously printed this well this kit twice because i've got two the same and then this one would have been the journal or the file folder kit anyway it came from it came from the january or the uh, winters i've forgotten it again <laughs> why won't it stick in my mind winter's shadow shadow how can i remember shadow i need to think about peter pan maybe did i show you that i don't know if i showed you that i just sat and made that before i came on camera so that this was one of nanine's bits from a kit as well um, and it was this that made me think about what i'm going to do with these because that's going to be a lovely little ephemera holder isn't it so i'm going to make i've got three of them i'm going to make two of these into ephemera holders um, and i did i did prep a little bit of this started yesterday and i've done a bit more this morning um in as much as cutting the papers out and i'm to be honest i'm pleased to have because uh, yeah I, did, I feel a bit ropey today so cutting <laughs> cutting could be a disaster um you know and i needed a lot all the same size so it was it was just going to be easy wasn't it to uh, to cut a few all at once but um you'll get you'll get to see me just stick them together but it's basically cutting pages to size which is not difficult is it so um i've made these before i'm sure you've seen them before lots of other people on youtube have made them too um so there's nothing really um new here i'm afraid it's just uh, they're gonna make um little little pockets like that one did that i just showed you to keep all that ephemera in that i've got and one of these just felt a bit longer than the others there yeah that one is ever so slightly that's just and i don't think it would matter in the scheme of things but um we'll just make it a little bit smaller so this is the paper um, that i get from amazon that is like the faux um coffee dyed well it, i mean it is coffee dyed but it's photocopied um a piece of well i bought it as vellum but it's very thin it's more like tracing paper but vellum shall we say one of uh, the pages from yes <laughs> i'm going to put it down to pain that my brain just will not will not work if you know when you're with me regularly you'll know that's not true actually because <laughs> my brain's like this all the time uh, roxy creations rachel at roxy creations one of her um, antique paper digitals it's just got torn edge i'm on torn edge um yeah and i've stenciled in the middle because it was white so what have i got three and then just a um dictionary page there so i wondered about if we put that put that vellum in the middle 
and then that there. Okay, so this one's going to be a four pocket. I think the other one I might have made a three pocket. Okay, so what you do is you get, it doesn't have to be a file folder, it can be an envelope, anything, just a piece of card um, that, you know, will close that way up. So it's like an envelope. That one's not cut very well, is it? Let's just uh, straighten that up a little bit. Don't know how that happened. That's better. Uh, yeah, and then what you do is um, make sure you get them all the right way up so that all your openings are at the bottom. And let me think about this because I don't want to do it wrong. Yes, let me get some paper down to to catch any glue that I might be dripping. And then I've got to decide which glue I'm going to use. Oh, there's a big piece. Let's have a big piece. Jerusalem. Um... Uh, glue. I think I might just go with the art glitter. Oops, oh dear, art glitter for speed. And it's not as if it's going to take a lot of glue. So, what you do is, I'm filming, aren't I? Um, right, aren't I? Yep, yeah, close them. <laughs> it's like me with the flip the other day, I have to think about what I'm doing. Close each individual one down the edge like that just so you've got pockets and if you do this first they just get a few minutes to uh, to be gluing uh, to be sticking setting whatever before you actually want to put a bit of um, bit of pull, pull on them a bit of friction on them set two so it's about as exciting as, as watching me cut paper probably, but <laughs> it's a nice, easy, gentle make today. That's how we're feeling today. Let's be kind to ourselves. You should always be kind to yourself, but even more so when you're under the weather a little bit. Um, obviously vellum. This will show a little bit. It'll only show us a clear white line, but it will show us a line. So <laughs> try not to put too much on. It was a bit of a shaky line, but there we go. Yeah, so I've got uh, I've got a lot on my mind about the operation actually at the moment as well. I don't know if that's making me feel worse. I've um, because I'm on warfarin medication I've got to come off it obviously it stops your warfarin stops your blood from clotting <laughs> so I don't want to be having a major operation and my blood not clotting that would be that would not be fun would it so I've got to come off it four days before but obviously I'm, I'm on the medication because I need to be on it <laughs> so stopping it's not ideal so I'm going on to some um, some injections that I'm not exactly sure how they work but they um, they kind of do the same thing as warfarin in as much as they prevent blood clots, but um, they don't prevent your blood clotting. <laughs> it's complicated, isn't it? I'm not a scientist, so I can't tell you. Um, but yeah, they, there is a big risk of, uh, you know, bleeding quite a lot, even more so than on the warfarin. When I'm on these injections, I've got to do those for five days um, up until my operation. So yeah, a lot on my mind. Um, right, so that's that for those. I meant to, that's what I was opening that for. So these papers that um, I lined the middle of these with, because if you know me, you'll know I very rarely print on the back of um, things that you're supposed to, <laughs> digitals. Um, and I had these sitting waiting to be used and these, um, there was loads of them. And I, I got them from Tanya's Buy Me A Coffee site. And I think they were a pound and there was loads of them, absolutely loads of them you know beautiful pages I think I put one in this one as well I did look yeah yeah I can't remember how many but you know a ridiculous amount of beautiful pages so um again I did those one-sided so I thought oh they'd be nice in there just a, a nice bright pop of colour when you open it up okay so back to the job in hand Denise is that the way I've decided to have them I think it is yeah okay so then what you do is 
again making sure all your folded over bits are at the bottom and I'm saying that not because you're daft but because I am <laughs> I'm saying it to remind myself now what I usually do is use this and it's plenty good enough so I think that's what I'll do seems a bit of a waste um, without glitter and you get a good broad stroke with this because you only want it up the middle like that now what you want is the bottoms together preferably the edges but more than anything the bottoms put that one on there like that do the same again a good broad stroke of glue thought I'd that upside down for a minute yep, so you can see that one's not quite as tall but the the trick is to get the bottom level and a final one good broad i don't know why i put quite so much on there but <laughs> and again get the bottoms level try and centralize the that's it now i'm just going to i'll just pull them a little bit but i'm just going to leave them to glue properly obviously because it's let's just pull it to show you what it will be like when it's properly properly dried um Yeah, it's wet glue is what I was trying to say. And then the very same thing in here. But don't go, I mean, you want to be at the bottom. I wonder if I can ink that a little bit so you can see it just on this first one, just so that you can see the crease there. You want to be in the bottom, but just not quite. So perhaps half a millimetre away, just to give it room to close. Not quite that much nice. And you do exactly the same thing good broad stroke of the glue close that over fasten it down and the same on the back now you can see the possibilities of things you can make in here with the different papers that you use are endless so use up your book pages you know because it's it, it's not for writing on you're not going to write on it it is literally just you know an envelope yeah so just lots and lots of book pages i've done those before i just fancied playing with a few different bits of paper you know pages today but yeah so like the amazon paper it didn't necessarily need that opens nice and wide doesn't it um yeah and then obviously i am going to put in there all these bits of um cutouts and where were they they were all in here weren't they yeah in there like that i won't put them in until they're dry but yeah you'll get a lot in there um, and they match the kit uh, yeah and they make nice happy mail or they're a nice way to just um save things put them away and save them uh, that one would even go inside that wouldn't it make a matching matching set okay so you're a bit gloopy now aren't you I'll get rid of that I've got another one here so i was gluing big things so i just folded them over and now i've got half size clean um, yeah, you're not. I'm not making another one like that. This is the other one from the kit. I think I've only put three in here. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I'm pleased I found them again. Those uh, flowers. It's amazing what you find when you go through your your stuff tidying up. I really must do it more often. Um, oh yeah, my. Uh, I think I told you on my last video that I'd ordered a baby bag. It's actually. <laughs> When it came, it's called a diaper bag. <laughs> so it's what we would call nappies, probably in England. Diaper is the American term. Whoops. Wait a minute. I want to grab it to show you. And I was attached. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't know if I might need to lift you out, uh, up a little bit. I think I probably will. Oh, maybe I can do it like that. Is that as low as you'll go? Can you? No, you can't, can you? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not. That's my glue gone for a burton. Because it's pretty full. Let me just try and show you. So it's got all these compartments in here. Let me, I'm just going to lift you right up. Hang on. Well, I am if you'll stay. Can you see? It's got all these little compartments in here and they move about. So I've got all my, I've got loads of stuff in it, absolutely loads. 
um, you know, to travel, crafting travel to mums, and then round the edges, let's see if I can show you, it's got all these pockets, and the pockets are in every edge. Can you see those ones there, big ones? And I love it so much, and it's full, <laughs> that I'm going to get another one, because I think with two of those, right, let's try and get you back down to where you should be. That better. Let's have a look. Let's put something in your view. I think that's okay. Is that better? Yeah, with two of those, I can fit everything in absolutely everything. That one is a little bit over full, um, but yeah, two. And I'm laughing, and, and then I was thinking another one would be nice for my sewing bits and pieces, but yes, I better not push it at the minute. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm ordering another one. Um, just so that, you know, Neil can pick both bags up and go with me <laughs> to mum's or, you know, wherever I'm going. Anyway, Denise, back to what we were doing. Oh yeah, another one of these. So this one I'm just putting three in. I haven't got any book page. And I've just realised I'm probably using up, you know, good paper when I could just be putting book page in here. I don't know what I was thinking really, but there you go. Like I say, my brain's not really, uh, not really with it feeling sorry for me yet <laughs> let me know let me know once you're feeling sorry for me um yeah still think you're not right now sorry is that better that's the trouble when i mess you see did i use this down the side yeah i think i did didn't i yep so just down each side again to make um little parcels little pockets yeah pockets that's the word so this one's just going to be three um you know and you can put as many as you want in that, that little one that i showed you uh, that was the kit from nanine only had the one pocket in it that, the other one i've just done had four so it opens quite well this one's going to have three. Oh, i'm wiggling about um yeah, but you know, you could go five or six maybe. I don't know that I'd go more than six because you'd have like a, <laughs> a uh, an accordion, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> Stuff would fall out of it, but uh, yeah, probably five would be a nice good number. I haven't inked the sides of these. I don't think it matters. Obviously, if you're doing it and you, you've got time to sit and enjoy, you can do all that kind of thing, ink it and I mean you can have great fun decorating these as well. You can decorate these pages inside so they're pretty when you look in. You can decorate the outside. Yeah, I think we'll have him in the middle again. So again, make sure all your folded over pieces are at the bottom. Uh, we'll go with this. This again. A nice broad stroke up there, excuse the phone, making rude noises again. It's the one that used to be my husband's, I really must get it sorted. It's just once I stop filming and I go on to do something else, upload the film and whatever, I completely forget. Okay, that was a bit wonky Denise, wasn't it? Can we take it off and try again? <laughs> just wasn't quite right at the bottom which is the important bit there you need that one flat and straight and level if you possibly can that's it I seem to have glue on that don't I right and again up the middle make sure you've got the bottom bit at the bottom yeah brilliant way to use up book pages this actually kicking myself now that I didn't because I've got plenty to use up yep, and then again exactly the same thing just not quite make sure you've got the bottom not quite in the bottom there you could even fold it over and then open it out again oh I feel like I'm panting perhaps I'm talking too much did I glue where I shouldn't have then Right, I've got a couple of wet wipes out drying next to the, in front of the fire because I couldn't find any after I'd tidied my room. Haha, <laughs> let me just have a look in this drawer and see. No, just wondered if I'd found some and 
put them away at the end but I didn't okay so that's that one so there's two of those we'll have a look through them in a minute when they're dry that's not it <laughs> that's it shall I just stand my glue pot on them yeah and then um, I had another one here that I've prepped and this is from the I'm pretty sure it's faded florals yeah from the faded floral kit and again I've just I think I've cut four here so I've got one dictionary page and three don't know what I was thinking just three blank pages out of my book there they are all cut to size aren't they yeah I quite liked the the colour of the grid with the colour of the inside I don't know if I even want that in there to be fair I've cut it though so let's use it uh, but I'll have it in the middle Right, I think I'll just go with two of those so I've got one each side because I do like the grid next to the next to those it's a very similar colour yeah and we'll just have a book page in the middle and we'll save that to play with another day so next next glue page are you fed up with seeing it yeah I'll try and do it a little bit quicker this time this is the last one of these I'm making with you um oops that is the conservatory uh, creaking I presume it's getting warm because I've got the fire on quite high don't know about you guys but when I'm not very well I like to be really warm so although it isn't bitter cold outside I haven't given you a weather forecast today it's not bitter cold out there I'm sure it's cool I haven't been out but yeah there's no frost or anything but uh, yeah I like to be nice and warm so I've got the fire on quite high <laughs> so yeah the, the conservatory is that uh, it's getting hot quickly I think that's what the cracking was. <laughs> um, oops. And this one. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting some some bits and pieces done while I am recovering from my operation. As you know, I won't be filming. I'm filming a few up now in advance so that when I go in, you'll have films to watch. But. Uh, yeah, last time, because this is my second new replacement, last time I had it done, I, I wasn't, hadn't ever heard of junk journaling. It was new to me. I didn't find it until afterwards. Um, but I think it was probably just before, no, just as COVID hit that I discovered uh, junk journaling because um, I'd been in hospital with a, a problem with my blood, yeah. Uh, and I came out... I don't think I've told you this. I think I told you this in a video that wasn't filming. If I remember rightly, what am I doing? Um, yeah, so I'm sorry if I've already told you this. <laughs> I don't think I have. Uh, yeah, so I was I was looking for something to do craft-wise, you know, was as an invalid, I guess, because I kind of was. Um, I'd always crocheted, knitted, uh, sewn, that's a little bit thinner than those, so I'll put it in the middle. Uh, yeah, done other paper crafts uh, as a child, but never as an adult. But I was getting to the stage where, you know, the arthritis and the knitting and the crocheting, because when I do something, I like to do it, you know, <laughs> I never stop, full on. Yeah, it was. I was starting to get pains in my hands and arms uh, and back a little bit. From the knitting and the crocheting so I, I thought oh, I better find something to mix it up with so I thought I, uh, I'll look for something oops paper crafty now my sister was a a card maker that is not in the middle Denise what are you doing yeah so I, I, I first started getting some stuff for card making and watching YouTube videos and things like that which is where I discovered you know on YouTube which is where I discovered um, junk journaling and never really looked back got you know loved it as soon as I saw it I was like amazed thought it was fabulous bit of glue on that let's, let's get it moved along yeah loved it so that that's when I discovered junk journaling so this time when I go in hospital obviously I've got lots of things uh, planned to keep me entertained when I come out and on the long because it is quite a long recovery um, but yeah I've not been doing it that long actually 
Um, and I do still love to knit, I do still knit, I do still crochet. I don't sew so much actually. <laughs> I sew the junk journals. Yeah, I don't sew material so much as I used to. I used to do patchwork and oh, I've done all sorts. Rug making. Yeah, I've always, always been into craft, you know, creativity, that kind of thing. Um, I did start painting at the same time that I started junk journaling. Um, yeah, but I'm very, I, I'm very shy about my painting and it's something that I kind of, I do for me and I don't want to share. I might share with you one day, guys, but uh, at, at the minute, no, <laughs> it's not my kind of thing. Um, and all I'm doing is, it, it's watercolours mainly. I just, I watch videos on YouTube and I follow along and paint. I've not done anything, you know, of my own yet. So, uh, yeah, one day I'll share it with you. <laughs> I'm just not ready yet but of course you have to that's not the sort of thing you can just sit in a chair and do I have to be at a, a table with because I'm messy as you know <laughs> with you know like waterproof paper down and you know you need water and you know everything's messy it's a messy job which I love it's it's not a, it's not a recuperating job is it yeah so I'm um, obviously I had another one of these and I didn't want to make another file folder so I'm going to make a booklet you know, like a um, mini journal, maybe. And I'm just going to use some of this this paper the same. I don't mind if it shows there. So, shall we go for that one and cut it up there? Um, yeah, and I've got another piece of that Amazon paper there, which obviously was just kicking around, and I. Sorry, that was a lot to cut off my little chopper. It did it though. Um, yeah, this is an antique. Not, it's not an antique. This is a vintage um, school exercise book. So it's, it's you know, distressed around the edges, foxed, whatever it is they call it. Right, don't cut yourself, Denise, because you won't stop bleeding. Yeah, it reminds me very much of my school days. Um, I love the colour of it, you know, it's, it's just a different colour to what, I think it's a lot more vivid blue that they do in the um, in the maths books now. But you know, it's a lovely yellow creamy paper and that lovely greeny blue. Maybe that will go on the outside. Maybe that will go on the inside, <laughs> it's smaller than this. It's smaller and it's longer for some reason. Maybe it wasn't made for in here, I don't know. It's going in though, why not want not again. Right, what colour have we got? Ah right, now we're back. What do we think to the colour with that? Or the colour with that? I like that one. So yeah, middle middle is fine. I haven't even thought about how I'm gonna shall I just sew it in like we would a journal? Did I even ink that? It doesn't look it, does it? That's better. It'll be a bit heavier on the ink. It is quite uh, vintagey on the inside, isn't it? And this is a you know, quite a pale, pale-looking uh, print. I've got a bit showing there again. I think I'll just leave it. It is what it is, as they say. Yeah, so how did you guys um, get into your, I'd love to know, get into junk journaling? Was it the same as me, just watching YouTube or is it from, are you, do you have a background in card making? I mean, I said to you, I started with the card making, it really wasn't me, it was, it was okay, but there are lots of people out there, you know, really precision, I guess card makers who make really beautiful um I don't know why I'm doing that I'm not doing a three hole pamphlet am I or am I yeah let's why not um yeah the cards are just beautiful and if you've if you've seen me craft I'm more of a <laughs> budget and leg it do they call it <laughs> yeah a uh, bit of a I mean, I love what I do, don't get me wrong, and I, I'm not putting myself down. I like what I make also, but yeah, I, I don't like the stress of everything having to be, 
you know, absolutely in the right place and what have you. So, you know, that's why junk journaling is absolutely perfect for me because, uh, you know, we can embrace the, the not perfect and it, it's part of the part of the craft. I'm not saying all junk journalists do that. There are some very precision. Um, just want a bit of a clip. Oh. Just try and hold it still. Are you going to go in there? You are. Thank you. Uh, you know, junk journalists who just like the card makers, everything is beautiful and pristine and it's on straight and no glue marks, but this is the kind of craft where if you're the opposite if you like me <laughs> it's absolutely okay yeah so I'm just whoops try and get it in the middle Denise oh there it goes again I don't know what it's trying to say to me um I probably ought to go through on a book didn't I yeah so there's a place for me and my kind of crafting you know for me to enjoy and feel like I'm still doing it properly <laughs> but not no stress I'm all about the no stress as much as I can be I think that probably comes from teaching too because yeah life as a full-time teacher English teacher was very very stressful hence I am not going back to it definitely not full-time I may in years to come I may feel like I'm ready to go back and do a bit but I can't see it being in a hurry I'm still I mean I've done it for three years and I'm still a little bit jaded from from it from the work hours the workload and the politics not the actual teaching all the kids I mean yes kids can be <laughs> a pain but they're kids aren't they the one thing I will say about when I was a teacher and I you know I, I did work in some quite rough schools <laughs> well I say rough not rough schools um, schools with some you know children from difficult areas with difficult bra backgrounds shall I say and the one thing I'll say about what you know what people would would label as difficult children or naughty children is they kind of don't hold a grudge so, you know, you can tell them off one day and be really uh, strict with them and <laughs> give them a dressing down. Yeah, and they might not be talking to you when you go home, but the next day with most of them was a new day and everything is fine again. So, yeah, the, the kids weren't particularly the issue. It's the adults. <laughs> it's the politics and the workload. I really like that. Wants a nice label on it, but um, obviously I've, I've been on a long time now. Um, I am ready to go and sit in front of that fire like I said so let's have a look at these so that was that yeah the one that Nanine um, told you how to do obviously she said back it and you know not do the, the things that I did but you know I'm, I like to go off piste yeah so that's a nice set um, and then I've got one of these so actually it might be a nice so we've got a journal and a matching ephemera holder which can have all these you know these lovely fussy cuts in will you fit in there yes you will you know and a lot of these pieces lovely piece of happy mail that isn't it actually it's taken everything oh yes yep so we've got an ephemera holder a journal and a little it's like a little purse that isn't it yeah so maybe some of those mini pieces could go in there or maybe some yeah if I cut some of those up yeah could cut those up and put them in there as a little notebook uh, yeah you know tear off thing yeah might do that so I'll put that with that so yeah what a lovely what a lovely set that will make won't it yep yeah, and then this one which I've got um I've got these postcards will they go in obviously I'm going to back them yeah, the postcards will go in that one. These are all going in the journal. Will you go in? You will. And again, I can cut these up and put them in there and some more fussy cuts. 
yeah, can be cut up and go in there. So yeah, that will wipe everything up really, just that one piece of paper. Okay, so thank you so very much for staying with me through that. Uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed seeing me use up the last of the kit. And um, yeah, I'd love to chat to you in the comments. So anything you want to talk about at all, let me know. Especially uh, your crafting, how did you come how did you come to um, to junk journaling? And um, yeah, are you going to give these a go? I mean, that one's going to be lovely to decorate, isn't it? We might do that in another video. Might decorate them all, actually. Okay, but for now, that's me. I'm off. So have a lovely, lovely day. Um, come and join me tomorrow and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.